Hello guys, so sometimes um, certain issues um, I feel need their own kind of video um, even when you know I've got a few things to say um, and put into a video sometimes you have to separate these um, issues and put them in separate videos and you know I'm having that kind of situation today and one of the issues is Zavi and another thing is you know kind of an important announcement on the channel so I've decided that Zavi aren't really going to ruin that so you may know that recently I picked up this um, PS Vita and uh, I ordered it from Zavi on I think it was Sunday night and it came on the following Friday which was pretty shit um, you know pretty shit delivery time really um, it did come via Royal Mail if I recollect correctly um, and the issue was how long it took to dispatch, um, you know, it said it was the, the status on my account said that it was stock picking for like four days. Um, so eventually, it did get delivered. Um, it, you know, it was like next day delivery or something. But I thought that was just shit service and a piss take. And when they did dispatch this, um, this actually was 150 quid and it came with a free mega pack. They were free to choose from, there was like a sports and racing one, a generic one, like action or something, and a Disney one. I decided to go for the Disney one. So that was on something like the 2nd of December, um, I ordered all of that. So like I say, I got the, the PSV to four or five days, well five days later really and the PS Vita Mega Pack um, you know it just didn't get dispatched so you know backwards and forwards emails um, and the first one the first response was um, it's not currently in stock We're waiting for more stock from the supplier so then after waiting for that which um, never amounted to anything it was we're trying to source the stock from a different supplier so I'm like oh okay then you know a third email and it was you know I'm still trying to get hold of this from another supplier and you know they were basically just fobbing me off so fourth time round fourth email um, the person says that they're going to request a refund for me um, so I'm thinking, oh well, fair enough. I assume I'm going to get, you know, forty quid back, which is what it costs for a mega pack, in theory, anyway. And um, I'll end up with my PS Vita for 110 quid. And obviously, the the added cost issue is that because I, at this point, um, this that was probably like the tenth of January. So you're talking going on for six weeks um, when I got the PS Vita because I actually wanted to use it because otherwise it's a useless brick um, I had to buy a memory card so that cost me 25 quid um, so I basically incurred that cost as a result of their shit service um, so yes eventually I didn't get a refund I got Disney Mega Pack through the post you fucking idiots Jesus Christ unbelievable yeah I'm just thinking oh well you know six weeks but fair enough the best outcome is that I get 40 quid refund and they send me the fucking thing fucking retards that's all I can say so yes, that is why, um, if you watch the silent pickup video, which are usually videos where I want to get something opened on camera, but 
I'm not in a situation where I can talk on the camera, i.e. people in bed or I just feel like a twat doing it. But anyway, um, yes, that's why I'm cursing and I'm like this, you fucking wankers. But I'm not saying anything on the uh, silent pickup video for that. So yes, um, don't trust Zavi. Um, they have quite underhand tactics. If you buy something from them, they'll just bombard you with emails banging on about fucking, there you go, look, mega fucking Monday. Which is just the same thing. Same stuff generally every Monday. It's the same price all fucking week. Um, there's, you know, there's nothing remarkable. Um, wow, look, Battlefield 4 for the PS4. Bargain at 45 quid. So yeah, it's just a little bit of a rant about Zavi. They also, um, when the PS4 first came out, they were also trying to, you know, vlog a load of fucking stupid bundles where you paid 800 quid and got a load of shit fucking games that nobody wants like this sort of thing here and uh, that one's not so bad but they did have one with really crap games and it was over 800 quid so uh, yes even though there are some good offers um, on Zavi like say if you order something like the PS Vita which is dependent on getting the memory pack and hence the memory card then you could possibly end up out of pocket they don't know what the fucking doing um, you know the, the, the response time from the customer service is okay but the, the reason for that is clearly that they just fob you off with a load of bollocks um, they, they don't know where anything is on the supply chain clearly and uh, yeah so maybe go for one item but say if you spend £800 on a massive PS4 bundle um, chances are you probably won't get half of it for like two months so 